Today we take a look at the life of author Dean Kuntz. Dean Ray Kuntz was born on July 9th, 1945 in Everett, Pennsylvania. He had a rough childhood with an alcoholic father and found solace in the characters of books, movies, and cartoons, hobbies that led to his passion to become a writer. He has said that he was regularly beaten and abused by his father, which influenced his later writing, as did the courage of his physically handicapped capped mother in standing up to her husband. My dad had 44 jobs in 34 years. He was a violent alcoholic. It was, I ended up putting it in a novel. <laughs> we're, we're merciless as writers, you know, we use everything. You know, uh, it's a terrible thing to say about your own father, I have no happy memories. I literally cannot think of one. From the age of eight, Kuntz wrote short stories and sold them to his relatives for a nickel apiece. When I was a kid, he said, writers were my heroes because they took me out of that awful house. Books were an escape from the violence of the household and the poverty. The love of reading and writing stayed with him throughout his life. He attended Shippensburg State College, graduating in 1966 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in English, and during his senior year, he won the Atlantic Monthly Creative Writing Award with his story, The Kittens. Shortly after graduation, he married his high school sweetheart, Gerda Ann Sarah, on October 15, 1966. After university, Kuntz taught English at Mechanicsburg Senior High School in Pennsylvania from 1967 to 1969. Motivated to become a writer, Kuntz wrote in his spare time during nights and weekends. During this time, he wrote over a dozen short stories, several of them published in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. Dean's hard work paid off in the publication of his first novel, a science fiction piece titled StarQuest in 1968. After publishing StarQuest, Kuntz continued writing science fiction for several years. In 1971, he was nominated for the Hugo Award for Best Novella for Beast Child, a book that combines aliens and interstellar war with Kuntz's thematic contributions of friendship and redemption. The combination of genres and themes became a defining aspect of his novels. Eager to find literary success, he began to write and publish in other genres under many pseudonyms. These pen names include K.R. Dwyer, Brian Coffey, John Hill, Aaron Wolf, Lay Nichols, Richard Page, and Owen West. Writing under pseudonyms, in addition to his real name, enabled Kuntz to publish without being restricted as a one-genre writer. Because he wrote so many books under so many different names, there is some debate as to how many books he has actually published. He began to emerge as a serious writer in 1972 with the publication of his first psychological thriller, Chase. Chase describes the after effects of the Vietnam War on a veteran that returns to civilian life. In 1980, Kuntz had his first bestseller with his novel Whispers. The success of Whispers was not a fluke, and Dean has become a respected name among contemporary writers since the 1980s. At least 30 of his books have went on to become New York Times bestsellers. Dean is a longtime dog lover and is known to work canines into his stories. Novels such as Watchers, Devoted, and The Darkest Evening of the Year incorporate dogs into the plot in major ways. Dean's first dog was Trixie, a golden retriever and an assistance service dog trained by canine companions for independence, an agency that provides assistance dogs free of charge to recipients and who Kuntz has worked with for many years. Dogs are magical. They're more magical than elves, and they're a lot better company than elves, too, because elves have those teeny tiny little voices, and they never stop talking. Dogs don't talk much at all, and they're much more fun to be around. Adopting Trixie changed his life. Her impact was undeniable, and the dog herself even authored several books of her own. Eventually, sadly, Trixie passed away, and it took Dean and his wife some time to get through the dog's death. One step that helped Dean to get through the loss of his pet was for him to write a memoir about Trixie, which was also his first nonfiction book. The title of that memoir, A Big Little Life, 
refers to the idea that all of our lives have the potential to change others and that a dog can have a loving impact on us. Dean said, Dogs are special, but for me, Goldens are just something else. They have such sweetness to them, such devotion to people and giving personalities. I look at them and think, if only humanity could more regularly show the qualities that this dog shows me every day, we'd be a much better planet. Dean has given more than $10 million to Canine Companions for Independence. One of Kuntz's most successful series is the suspenseful Moonlight Bay trilogy, which features Christopher Snow, a character suffering from Xeroderma pigmentosum as a recurring protagonist. The first novel, Fear Nothing, speaks to an overall theme in Kuntz's works. His characters, through relationships with family and friends, are able to overcome stories of terror and create their own happiness. This was his second novel to present from a first-person point of view and continues to be one of his most popular books among his fan base. Kuntz authored a modern take on the classic and legendary Frankenstein with a five-book series starting with Prodigal Son in 2004. Though technically of the mystery and thriller genres, the story features the trappings of horror, fantasy, and science fiction. Publishers Weekly said of his Frankenstein, The odd juxtaposition of a police procedural with a neo-gothic, mad scientist plot gives it a wickedly unusual and intriguing feel. Consistent with his ability to write in multiple genres of literature, Kutz expanded to the graphic novel medium, creating a comic book series of his Frankenstein books in 2008. Confirmation of Kuntz's abilities as a superior storyteller can be seen in the numerous movie adaptations of his works. Over a dozen of his stories have been adapted as films for television and cinema, including Watchers, for which he wrote the script, The Face of Fear, Intensity, Mr. Murder, Odd Thomas, and Frankenstein. Dean has had success with poetry, short stories, and screenwriting in addition to writing novels. He published Strange Highways in 1995, a collection of novellas and short stories. He published The Book of Counted Sorrows in 2001, a collection of poems, and he also wrote an episode for the television show Chips called Counterfeit, which resulted in an offer to write for the show. He declined that offer, however, choosing to focus on his books. Despite, or perhaps because, of his literary success, Kuntz continues to write full-time with intense 60 to 70 hour per week work schedules. He meticulously works his way through writing a novel. In an audio interview with John J. Miller of National Review Online, Kuntz explains his emphasis on revision. I write in an interestingly different way. I do 20 or 30 drafts per page before I move on to the next page, and I inch my way through the book. This dedication enables him to successfully fulfill his childhood passion of character-driven stories that he enjoys writing and his fans enjoy reading. From his early days as a struggling novelist to success as a literary heavyweight, his insights, life lessons, and always sharp wit are sure to entertain. Dean's official website lists nearly 100 books translated into more than 30 languages with total sales of more than 450 million copies and counting. There you have it, guys. The Life of Dean Kuntz. Subscribe to my channel for more literary content.